I'm gonna give you a thorough drug study of your cholinergic agonist. We're gonna talk about the indication, contraindication, side effects, adverse effects, and of course, nursing responsibilities. All of that good stuff in one video. Amazing, right? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos two to three times in a week, so don't miss that out. Subscribe now. You hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. With Without further ado, let's jump into the video, nurses. Hello! Kumusta kayo? Kumusta kayo, mga nurses? Mm -hmm. Ngayon nga ay isang panibagong nursing drug study. For the past couple of days, few days, I've been uploading nursing drug study. I just really, really wanted to have all the drugs that we commonly use in the area on that playlist para may guide kayo. Now, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung mga previous discussion natin, mga nursing drug study natin, ililink ko yung actual playlist dyan. Panoorin mo. Kasama ng iba nating mga um, lectures, video discussions, Dito sa ating channel, okay? Now, on this video lecture, we are going to discuss about your cholinergic agonist. I'm gonna give you a thorough drug study of your cholinergic agonist. We're gonna talk about the indication, contraindication, side effects, adverse effects, and of course, nursing responsibilities. All of that good stuff in one video. Amazing, right? Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. So, hi everyone, welcome back to our formal discussion ng yung cholinergic agonist. So, this is another entry now natin sa ating nursing pharmacology nursing study guide and let this be your nursing online nursing drug study what are you going to expect on this slide we're going to have the classifications the generic and the brand name disease spotlight mechanism of action indications contraindications adverse effects and of course nursing responsibilities handa ka na ba okay ito na tayo so classification generic name and brand name okay calling Cholinergic agonist can either be direct or indirect acting cholinergic agonist. Classification ito, mabilis lang to, this is very straightforward, okay? Sabi natin, may dalawang klase ng ating um, cholinergic agonists. Una, meron tayong direct and indirect. I-discuss natin sila isa-isa. Unahin natin yung direct. Um, classification, of course, direct acting cholinergic agonists. Mga generic name and brand name under direct acting. Ano yon? Beta Nicole, Carbacol, Sevimilin, and Pilocarpine. That's the generic name. Ito naman yung brand name nila respectively. Duvoid, Urecoline, Myostat, Evosac, um, Salagen. Alright? Under naman sa indirect acting cholinergic agonist, ito siya, dalawa siya, for treatment of MG and Alzheimer's disease. Okay. Unahin natin yung mga drugs uh, generic name and brand names ng drugs that is used to treat myasthenia gravis. Ano to? Ambenomium, uh, edrophonium, niostigmine, pyridostigmine, and donezepil. Ano yung brand name nila? Respectively, meron tayo dyang mitalase, reversal, prostigmine, mestinon, and aricept. Okay? Ano naman yung mga agents? Mga indirect acting cholinergic agents that are used to treat Alzheimer's disease. Meron ka dyang Tatlo, galantamine, rivastigmine, and tacrine. Alright, ito yung kanyang brand name. Razadine, Exelon, Cognex. Okay? So, yun lang yun. So, if you wanna have a screenshot of this, you may do so. Okay? Now, we're going to discuss about the disease spotlight. Okay. Now, sinabi natin na may dalawang klase tayo ng um, cholinergic agonist. Meron tayong direct and indirect, diba? Tinakalakay natin yun sa previous slide. Ngayon naman, tatalakay natin kung ano-ano yung mga diseases na dini- uh, kung saan sila ginagamit, bawa sa direct acting, ano yung mga diseases na pwedeng paggamitan ng direct acting cholinergics at ano naman yung mga diseases na ginagamitan natin ng indirect acting, um, uh, what's this, uh, cholinergics. ba alam mo na yung sa indirect, meron tayong MG at meron tayong Alzheimer's. Huwag ka magalala kasi mas tatalakay natin yun sila dito. Alright, so first stop, we have your 
direct acting cholinergics. Na al- alam niyo to nurses. So I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's Sjogren's. Now this is an autoimmune disease, you guys. Now ginagamit ang direct acting cholinergic agonist um, for treatment of neurogenic bladder atony in children, relieve pressure on glaucoma patients, and treatment of symptoms of dry mouth in patients with Sjogren's syndrome. Now Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease. It attacks the glands that make tears and saliva. Hence, kaya ang manifestation niya is dry eyes and dry mouth. Next, you have your indirect acting cholinergic agents. Now, these are used for myasthenia gravis and Alzheimer's disease. MG, o yung myasthenia gravis, is a chronic muscular disease caused by defect in neuromuscular transmission. It thought to be an autoimmune disease in which antibodies to own ACH, o yung acetylcholine, receptors are made. As fewer receptor sites become available, patients begin to have progressive weakness and lack of muscle control. On the other hand, ano naman yung Alzheimer's disease mo? This, then alala mo pa to, progressive disorder of neural degeneration, meaning nagpo-progress. Early, early stage ng Alzheimer's, ano? Dementia. Okay, now, this could lead to marked loss of memory and ability to carry on activities of daily living. Okay, indirect acting, ano yung tinitreat doon? MG, myasthenia gravis, and Alzheimer's. Direct acting, Sjogren's disease. All right. Next up, mechanism of action. Tatalakay natin dito ano yung mechanism of action ng direct acting at ano yung mechanism of action ng indirect acting cholinergic agonists. All right. Following slides natin, tatalakay natin yung therapeutic action, indications, contraindications, and adverse effect ng iyong direct acting cholinergic agonist. Alright, therapeutic action. Una, direct acting cholinergic agonist occupy receptor sites for ACH on the membranes of the effector cells causing increased stimulation. Ano pa? Effects include slowed heart rate and decreased myocardial contractility, vasodilation, bronchoconstriction, Constriction and increased bronchial mucus secretion, increased GI activity and secretions, increased bladder tone, relaxation of GI and bladder sphincters, and pupil constriction. Ano naman yung indications niya? Indications nito, direct acting cholinergic agonists are systematically used as agents to increase bladder tone, urinary uh, excretion, and GI secretions. As ophthalmic agents, they can induce meiosis to relieve increased intraocular pressure in patients with glaucoma. Ano naman ang contraindications and cautions when administering direct acting cholinergics? Allergy to any component of the drug to prevent hypersensitivity reaction, bradycardia, hypotension, vasomotor instability, and coronary artery disease. This can be made worse by the cardiac and cardiovascular suppressing effects of parasympathetic system. Remember, ang direct acting mo is parasympathetic effect. Naalala mo yung concept, pag sinabing parasympathetic, everything goes down except for GING, meaning GING mo increase. May ano ka, my my frequent urination, uh, frequent bowel movements, and stuff like that. Peptic ulcer, intestinal obstruction, or recent GI surgery. Now, this can be negatively affected by the GI stimulating effects of the parasympathetic nervous system. Bladder obstruction, aggravated by the stimulatory effects on the bladder. Epilepsy and Parkinsonism. Affected by stimulation of ACH receptors in the brain, hepatic or renal dysfunction. Drugs used to treat Alzheimer's are metabolized in the liver, so be mindful. Pregnancy and lactation, potential adverse effects on the fetus or neonate, kasi it can cross the placenta. Alright, what are the adverse effects of your direct acting? Una dyan ay... Sa cardiovascular muna tayo, bradycardia, heart block, hypotension, cardiac arrest. Sa GI, ano siya? Anong adverse effect niya? Nausea, vomiting, cramps, diarrhea, increased salivation. Sa GU, urinary urgency. Others' effects are as follow. Flushing, increased sweating. Warning nurses, pilocarpine and sevamelin may cause swallowing difficulties or dysphagia. Alright? Okay, so dito na tayo sa ating indirect acting cholinergic agonist. 
Sa mga susunod na slide, ganun din tatalakay natin yung therapeutic action indications, contraindications, and adverse effect ng iyong indirect acting cholinergic agonist. Okay. Indirect acting cholinergic agonist react with enzyme acetylcholinesterase to increase the stimulation of the ACH receptor sites. Consequently, ACH remains the area and accumulates stimulating ACH receptors for longer period of time than normally expected. Agents for my Stenia gravis. Increase the levels of ACH, facilitating transmission at the neuromuscular junction. Agents for Alzheimer's disease cause elevated ACH levels in the cortex, which slows the neuronal degradation of Alzheimer's disease. Okay, indications ng iyong indirect acting cholinergics. Treatment of myasthenia gravis, of course, antidote for non-depolarizing neuromuscular junction blockers, increase survival after exposure to nerve gas. Ano pa? Treatment of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Contraindications and cautions, nurses. When using indirect acting, cholinergic agonist, allergy to any component of the drug to prevent hypersensitivity reaction, bradycardia, intestinal, or urinary tract obstruction. This can be exacerbated by the stimulation of cholinergic receptors. Pregnancy, uterus could be stimulated and labor-induced. Asthma, coronary disease, peptic ulcer, arrhythmias, epilepsy, and Parkinsonism can be exacerbated by effects of parasympathetic stimulation. Stimulation, hepatic and renal dysfunction because this can interfere with the metabolism and excretion of the drug. It's being metabolized and being excreted through the hepatic and renal um, uh, organs that then, okay, yung kidneys and liver. So be mindful of that. All right, so what are the adverse effects, nurses? Now, you guys, use of anticholinergic agents may result to these adverse effects. Ito na nga po siya. Una, sa central nervous system, this can cause blurred vision, pupil dilation, photophobia, cycloplegia, increased intraocular pressure, weakness, dizziness, and insomnia. Sa ating cardiovascular naman, tachycardia, palpitation. Sa GI, anong sa, uh, adverse effect niya? Dry mouth, altered taste, perception, nausea, heartburn, and constipation. Sa genitourinary, urinary hesitancy and retention, heat prostration. Alright? So, ano-ano mga nursing responsibilities mo. Nakakasunod pa ba, nurses? O, oh, ito na tayo. Sa mga susunod na slides, we're gonna have the nursing assessment and nursing intervention that you need to do and you need to be aware of when administering um, uh, what's this? Um, cholinergic agonist. Alright. So these are the important things the nurse should include in conducting assessment, history taking, and examination. One, assess for contraindications or cautions. Example mo nito, nurses, yung history of allergy, kasi isa sa mga contraindications. Ano pa? GI obstruction, hepatorenal dysfunction, etc. This is to avoid any adverse effects. Next, establish baseline physical assessment to monitor for any potential adverse effects. Assess neurological status, example nito yung orientation, affect, reflexes. This is to evaluate any CNS effects. Assess abdomen, example, bowel sounds, bowel and bladder patterns, urinary output, very important. This is to evaluate for GI and GU adverse effects. Lastly, you have to monitor for laboratory test results to determine need for possible dose adjustment to identify potential toxicity. Remember, meron tayong renal and hepatic dysfunction or precautions natin sa ating cholinergic agonist. Okay. All right, ano naman yung mga nursing interventions mo? Well, una, ensure proper administration of the drug to ensure effective use and increase the risk of adverse effects. Monitor patient's response. Example nito, ano yon? Blood pressure, ECG, urine output. For changes that may indicate need to adjust a dose. Provide comfort measures. Ano ano yung mga comfort measures mo? Sugarless lozenges, lighting control, small and frequent meals. Bakit may lighting? 
lighting oh uh, yeah lighting control kasi may photophobia siya di ba adverse effects now this is to help patient cope with drug effects provide patient education about drug effects and warning signs to report to enhance knowledge about drug therapy and promote compliance to treatment all right thank you so much you guys for watching please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do uh comment it down below alo babangan nyo pa po yung iba natin mga nursing pharmacology discussion na marami ako hinanda para sa inyo once again i want to grab this opportunity to thank you who's watching right now for supporting and um uh, my channel and believing in me pasensya na rin po kayo kung hindi ako masyado nakakapag-upload lately alam nyo naman holiday so kailangan magpahinga <laughs> pero we're back we're back on track and maraming maraming salamat po ulit help me out spread the news we're getting there help me get to 10,000 subscribers and hopefully this year ma-achieve natin yung 100,000 subscribers natin is possible because I have you guys my team Kulto once again team Kulto help me out spread the news um, ipamalita mo na sa radyong sira ang pinakabago at pinakafresh at ang pinakalibreng review center sa balat ng YouTube okay I'll see you again next time you have a good one thank you so much you guys for watching I hope you learned something help me grow my channel you are already here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk. give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think you put them down on the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists i created for you i'll be putting the links on the description box so simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at neil gabe except for my newly freshly new account freshly yeah very fresh tiktok account which is neil gabe official i'll see you guys there you guys stay safe